Hello friends, I am Gracie and today we will do class 12th lesson of CBSC from Flamingo book chapter 1 the last lesson written by Alfonso Daudet. Alfonso Daudet was a novelist and short story writer. The last lesson is set in the days of franco prussian war that took place in the 1870 to 1871 in which France was defeated by Prussia led by Bismarck. The two districts which were of France, Alsace and Lorraine passed on into the hands of Prussians and Prussians introduced German language in these two districts. The last lesson deals with the theme of language imposition and language loyalty. The story highlights the pain that is inflicted on the people of a territory by its conquerors by taking away the right to study and to speak their own language. In this lesson, there are two characters mainly. One is Franz, the student, and M. Hamel, the French teacher who served these districts around 40 years. Franz Bonn goes to school as usual very late that morning. And when he reaches the campus of the school, he finds the whole atmosphere of the school was very quiet, very peaceful, not like other days. Other days he would find it was a lot of noisy, the banging of the ruler and repetition of the sounds of the poems and so on. That was, there was a lot of noise but on that day everything was quiet and peaceful so when he goes he peeps into the window of his classroom and he notices that the students were sitting very quietly in the class and mml wore sunday clothes or the clothes which he wore only on occasion and mml was parading with iron ruler under his armpit and Franz opens the door of the classroom and M. Hamel says, Franz, we were not, we, we were waiting for you. And Franz goes and sits in his own place. And suddenly he looks behind the empty places of the classroom who were filled by the elders of the village who came to pay homage to their own mother tongue French and they came to pay respect to M. Hamel, who served those districts around 40 years. Later, M. Hamel starts saying that French language is most logical, very beautiful, very clear language. And we need to guard it, we need to protect it. And he says, the order from Berlin had come. And it says, from tomorrow onwards, only French will be, only German will be taught in these two districts. So the boy, Franz, feels very bad. He regrets for not learning French language, his own mother tongue. Most of the time, either he would go for fishing or he would go behind the birds to catch the eggs. Later, the class begins. M. Hamel feels he announces it is the last class and he tells them to pay more attention to this class. M. Hamel and Franz, M. Hamel tells Franz to recite the participles and Franz was unable to recite any word of the participles. Then M. Hamel blames the parents who sent them to work and blames himself, saying that most of the time I too took holidays for fishing, to go for fishing, and 
I also asked you all to water the garden. It is equally, it's my fault for you people are not learnt anything. Later, he again says, the most beautiful language in the world, the clearest and most logical. He asked them to guard it and never forget it. Their language was the key to their prison. Then they had a lesson in grammar and writing. After writing, they had a lesson in history. Then the babies chanted their ba be bi bo bu. Even old Hauser was crying. All at once the church clock struck twelve and then the midday prayers. At the same moment, the trumpets of Prussians returning from drill sounded under the windows. M. Himmel stood up. He wanted to speak, but something choked him. He took a piece of chalk and wrote on the blackboard as large as he could. Vive la France, meaning long live France. After that, he stopped. He leaned against the wall without a word and he made a gesture, a sign saying the class is dismissed and you may go. This is the summary of the lesson, the last lesson of Flamingo book. I am going to give you some questions which may help you for your exams. How does M. Hamel prove to be an ideal teacher? Because M. Hamel was a devoted, very dedicated and strict man of discipline. The students were afraid of his cranky nature and iron ruler. He was a true patriot and sincere teacher. He devotedly served the school for long 40 years. He had the heart of true Frenchman which totally broke when he received the news that new German teacher would replace him. He gave a great importance to the learning of mother tongue French. Question number two. Whom did MML blame for Francis inability to answer his question? MML blamed the parents who sent these children to work instead of sending them to school. He also blamed himself for making them to water the plants and giving them a holiday when he wanted to go for fishing. He blamed the students for delaying learning of their lessons, thinking that there was plenty of time. I hope you understood this lesson, the summary. I have briefed you with a simple language. I hope you understood. Do well in your examination. All the best. Thank you.